Hi guys, so in this video, I will show you how you can fix your no sound issues in FL Studio. So I'm going to show you how to do that with your issue drivers. And the first thing we're going to do is go to the audio settings. If you have your settings set to FL Studio, then make sure uh, you switch to issue for all because with FL Studio issue, if you click on that button here, uh, what you will see is that option here, which I showed you how to use. Um, to add your USB microphone as an input device. And that was in a previous tutorial. I will try and link it to um, this video. But here, we are using issue for all. And uh, there is a common issue where when you uh, use FL Studio and you click on the play button, or you want to preview your patterns or your, your different tracks in your playlist, there is no sound. So click on that button here. And you might see something like this. All right, and um, that is because these are the basic settings. So what you want to do is go down to the bottom left of that pop-up window here and click on advanced options. Now, when you click on advanced options, you will be able to drop this down. Just click on these uh, plus uh, buttons. And now you will see all the audio devices that you have. So here you have WDM device lists and you have the name of each device with the status of each device. So you can turn them on or off here for instance this has a red cross it is crossed out which means it is unavailable this is samsung go mic the microphone i'm currently using to record this video and it is currently unavailable that is because i am uh, making a recording right now and i am using camtasia so the camtasia recorder has taken control or um Rather, let me say it's accessing this audio device. Therefore, it is unavailable in FL Studio. Now, the other thing you can do, if something is off and you want to use it, just uh, click on this on button to turn it on. But in case the device is being used by different a different application, then you can't turn it on, even if you click on it. You might think it's on, but if you hover on it, it still says unavailable. As you can see, the red cross is still there. So what you have to do here, just revert to one of the options available or if you really want to use this audio device which is currently uh, in use by another application what you can do is simply close FL Studio here you have to close the entire application and then close all your other programs running on your PC right now so this can be um, Skype uh, it can be your browser it can be your media players anything close everything restart FL Studio go to options audio settings and at that point you should see that the red crosses uh, should just go away now in my case they are still here because i'm still doing the recording and i didn't actually close fl studio but in your case um these red crosses will disappear by the way you might have to um play around with these options especially if you have many different devices here you might have to try and switch and test if sound is coming out if there's still no sound then keep uh, switching or follow the next step, which is to close this here and come here and uncheck auto close. Now the thing with auto close, why I have to uncheck it on my PC is because when this is turned on, FL Studio will release the audio device for all the applications on your PC to use it. So this means uh, whenever you switch, let's say to your Chrome browser, or um, a different application, the different application is going to be able to use the audio device, uh, the audio device to um, output sound. Now, when you switch back to FS Studio, sometimes FS Studio doesn't gain back exclusivity of that audio device. So you will see or you will notice that there is no sound. So what you have to do in this case, simply click on a different um, audio device and then click again on issue for all, select that option again to sort of restart the audio device in FL Studio and then you will be able to get sound. Now again, I like to keep mine unchecked. If there's still no sound, then come to your mixer right here and you will see um, you have your individual tracks. I haven't got, I haven't loaded any FLP right here, but uh, you might be tempted to just play around with the options you see here. Now, you don't have to select anything here. At the top here, this is for input sources. So this is where you would link your microphone. And I have a tutorial where I'll show you how you can connect your USB microphone to make it show up here and record your voice or vocals inside of FL Studio. But what you need to check is the bottom part here. The bottom part is the output targets. 
So for individual tracks, make sure they are all set to none, but you also need to ensure that each individual track is linked to the master track, is routed to the master track. So when I click on any of them here, you can see it is routing to the master track here. Now on the master track, come down here and select one of the, um, the devices that will show up here. And uh, keep in mind, you might have a long list of devices. You have to try each of them to make sure that, um, you know, to test which one of them is working. But the other thing you need to keep in mind is when you go to options, audio, settings, you go back to your device list. Depending on what option you select here, this is going to change. Okay, you're not going to see the same thing anymore. So it depends again on what you are selecting. And you're going to have to play around with whatever appears down here. All right, so um, that's basically what you can do to solve your no sound issues in FL Studio. Um, if you still have no sound after you try these steps, close FL Studio, restart it one more time. And if there's no sound, then drop a comment. Let me know your exact situation and I will try to help you out personally uh, with new tips and, and stuff like that. And I will also make a different video um, to show you how you can troubleshoot audio problems on Windows 10 generally. So the steps I've shown you here should work in FL Studio 20 and FL Studio 12 as well. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.